Hey, if you're ever in uh, Dark County or Greenville, Ohio, you got to stop here at the Garst Museum. They have probably the largest collection of Annie Oakley memorabilia and Lowell Thomas. I think he's from that town too. Um, they've got everything like you see here, the stagecoach to uh, sewing equipment to just work instruments. I mean, you name it they got it it's one of the best little museums that i've seen i've been uh even the ohio state museum doesn't compare to what this little museum has i wish they could come over and learn a lesson from them um just all kinds of displays and i like the way they really laid it out for you it's really easy real informative you could spend a whole day here looking at everything and what I like about it, it's coming up here is they got these little shops and they've got like a, a, a salon, a barber shop. They've got like a wood uh, workers, a blacksmith, little booths with all the instruments that pertain to that trade. And uh, like I said, this one has to do something with uh, telescopes or something there. It's just really fascinating uh, place. Now, here we are in the Annie Oakley. There's like two or three rooms just dedicated just to her here's where she was uh, i think she was out over in england when that picture was taken um, this is her actual i think chest that she used when she was all on the road and um, i mean just the the sheer volume of stuff that they've collected is amazing i never knew it existed i actually didn't even know that she was from ohio so <laughs> um you know, I was, you know, really happy to find out that, you know, we've got a, a legend that was uh, born, lived, and died just down the road from where I live. So this was a, a really great, uh, those little things there were little targets that she used to shoot. She, they have all kinds of guns of hers on display. Um, trophies that she's won. She was in Buffalo Bill's Wild Wild West show. And also along with her was Sitting Bull, which I thought that's fascinating to know. And um, here's a picture of him and her together. That's just amazing. Like I said, it's amazing the collection of stuff that they had here. Here's a video of her doing target practice. They'd throw these little balls up in the air, or glass balls, and, and she'd shoot them. They have some of her silverware, dishes, plates, you name it, clothing. Uh, this was a, a like an outfit she wore. I think this shows her wearing it later on in life. And like this, this looks like maybe her parents' house there. Not for sure. And here's a, a photo of her. I think that was Thomas Edison and her. And um, that was their dog. They love this dog. Uh, there's a lot of information about that dog. And she wasn't very tall. Look, she was only five foot tall. Right out here is her husband, Frank Butler, and uh, her grave. He died like a week after she did. He quit eating, and he passed away just a few days after she did. Uh, this cemetery is a little bit tricky to find. It's out in the open. It's right up front. There's a big sign here with her photo and everything. So once you get to the cemetery, it's easy to find. Hey, thanks for uh, joining me. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and remember life is short, so make it happen. See you later. Bye.